In the early spring of 1947, three Bedouin shepherds were, as it were, pasturing their flock along the shores of the Dead Sea. Now that seems a little bit oxymoronic because there really isn't pasture (laughs) on the shores of the Dead Sea. It's one of the most barren wastelands you'll ever encounter. Some like downtown Steubenville, but anyway. um, (laughs) There's nothing to eat and everything is noxious and uh, the water is bad. So it's a, it's a curiosity why were these Bedouin shepherds over, you know, watching over their flocks along the shores of the Dead Sea, but none, nonetheless they were for some reason. And to amuse himself, one of the shepherds by the name of Muhammad el-Dib started throwing stones into the cave mouths that lined the hills. There are these large bluffs, as we'll see in a moment, large limestone bluffs along the shores of the Dead Sea. And there are caves and openings, both natural and man-made up there. And, and he liked to throw rocks. And so he, he started throwing rocks into the cave entrances. He threw a rock into one of the caves and he heard something shatter inside the cave. And that was unusual because it wasn't expected that there would be anything in there to shatter. Well, he didn't investigate right away, but the following day, they were in a different location. He had some time. He went back to that cliff face and crawled into the cave to investigate. And inside the cave, he found around a dozen clay jars. Most of the jars were empty. One was full of dirt. The last jar contained three ancient scrolls. These he pulled out, not recognizing what they were. Within a few months, it became evident that one of the scrolls was a nearly complete manuscript of the book of Isaiah from around 200 B.C. Now, the shock that that sent through the world of Bible scholarship was incredible because prior to the discovery of that manuscript of Isaiah from this cave, the oldest Hebrew copies that we had had of any significant part of the, of the Hebrew Bible was from around the late 900s A.D. So suddenly we have a manuscript nearly complete in almost perfect preservation of the entire book of Isaiah that's 1,200 years earlier than anything we had seen before. The other two scrolls that uh, Muhammad al-Dib found were also very interesting in their own right. One was a religious rule for a community life, a document that's come to be called 1Q Serech HaYachad, that's Hebrew for rule of the community. We were celebrating the feast day of St. Benedict today. Like the rule of St. Benedict, this was their rule for their communal life. And as we're going to see, they were very much what we would think of as a monastic order. And the third scroll that he discovered was a, as it were, a commentary on Genesis, which we'll talk about in a moment. Okay, so that was 1947. That was the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls. It took several years for the initial scrolls to be published, and then for all the scrolls to see the light of day, a total of 800 manuscripts. It took all the way until the late uh, 1990s, for all the scrolls to be published and made available to scholars. It was an enormous find, and a lot of work had to go into that. 